for pen 15-20 and sunfit and weld plus 10, 15, and 20. So, yung pinaka-kompleto sa benefits ay sunfit and well advantage 10, 15, 20. So, the numbers represent the number of paying years. Okay, so, bago tayo pumunta dun sa proposal, kasi actually, madali lang naman yung proposal, no? Kung babasahin mo lang siya, nandun naman lahat. But I'd like to show you this explanation para sa mga clients nyo at mas ma madali nilang maintindihan yung benefits ng Sunfit and Well. Okay. So, itong plan na to, as you can see, more of health plan talaga siya. So, nasa na lahat ng benefits for health. But, there are three main benefits for Sunfit and Well. First is the death benefit. Okay? So, whether magkasakit si client or hindi, upon death of client, 100% of the face amount will go to the beneficiaries. And, uh, insurance si client up to age 100. So, for this example, 1 million yung face amount or the insurance coverage. So, kaya ito yung nilagay natin dito. Okay, so dito naman, sa retirement benefit naman ni client, if ever hindi siya magkasakit, so at age 65, meron siyang 5% ng face amount, so 5% ng 1 million, so that's 50,000 for the next 8 years. So as you can see, nilagay ko na rito, 8 years na pension. So every year, makakatanggap si client ng 50,000 starting age 65, so until age 72 yun. So, for the 8 years, parang 40% ng face amount yung nakuha ni client. So, that's total of 400,000. So, aside from that, ano pa yung naging benefit ni client mo kung healthy naman siya? So, meron siyang guaranteed cash value, uh, special paid up bonus, and dividend. So, lahat ng yan, of course, makikita na natin yung details sa proposal. Okay, let me go to the health benefit naman for the Sunfit and Well. Kasi ito naman talaga yung uh, main uh, benefit ng isang Sunfit and Well. So, it covers 114 critical illnesses. So, i-break down natin siya para mas madali din for our clients. No? 64 yung major critical illnesses. So, once major agad yung naging sakit ni client, 100% of the face amount, makukuha niya na. So, that's 1 million, right? So, meron namang 34 minor critical illnesses na nandun din sa list sa proposal. So, once minor yung sakit ni client, only 20% of the face amount yung makiklaim ni client. Okay, ilang beses makakaklaim si client? 3 times lang. So, yung una is 20% and then Kung second, meron na naman siyang naging sakit. So, another 20%. And the third, na claim ay 10% na lang. Okay. Meron din 16 uh, special uh, cancer booster. So, pag yung sakit na yun nag-fall, I mean, yung sakit ni client nag-fall dun sa 16 cancer. So, may additional 50% ng face amount. So, 500,000 makiklaim ulit ni client yon kung yung sakit niya is nag-fall dun sa 16 cancer booster. Okay, aside from that, syempre naman pagka mga critical illness ang naging sakit ng client, definitely, makukonfine sila, ba? So, we have here the hospital income benefit, which is uh, times uh, 0.125% ng face amount. Times, of course, BOC is days of confinement. So, 1,250 per day. Kung 10 days na confined si client, so, 1,250 times 10. Yun yung makukuha niya as hospital income benefit. So, hospital reco recovery benefit naman is half ng HIV. So, in this case, 625. Ganun pa rin, times number of days of confinement. Post-hospitalization benefit, one time lang to na 5,000 for every con confinement ni client. Okay. So, PCB is palliative care benefit. So, pag critically ill na talaga si client at dineclare na ng doctor yon, so 10% ng face amount, which is 100,000, yung makukuha ni client. Okay. So, ang ganda nito, kasi hanggang age 100 covered, meron lang mga ilang 
uh, critical illnesses na until age 65 lang kinocover, which yun yung makikita na.